Shout out to Velar Day G thirty five X. Man, without you, I don't, I don't think I would have done this. The, the fall legs looks really good on your car, but uh, yeah, to everybody watching this video, please go show Velar Day G thirty five X some love because he did it first. I'm pretty sure before him somebody else did it, but yeah, that was like seven, eight years ago. So, hey man, I really appreciate your help. Thanks for letting me know about that wiring and all of that. And uh, yeah, <sighs> thanks to you, I now have a G35 that looks so much different on the road. Good afternoon. Today, we are going to take my bumper off so I can begin the addition of fog lights. Yes, the G35 has fog lights inside the headlights. But I'm going to add real fog lights, you know, the ones that actually, uh, the ones that actually go on the bumpers. So, quick, quick little run up of how you take the bumper off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you take the fender liner off, pop the corner light out, and there's two screws on each side. Ooh. Bumpers off on the top half, right? Got everything off here. All on top. Now we go under the car. You'll see a bunch of bolts. All of those around. One, two, yeah, keep going. You get these two. The ones at the end where the black part is, oh man, that thing sucks. But yeah, I'm gonna get it off. Yep, got my 10 mil, time to get these other two uh, screws and then we're gonna take this junk out. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Drink yours too.
you gonna drink any of that water, bro? Mm. You should drink some of the water. Don't worry about these. Drink some of the water. Drink the Wawa, buddy. Just gonna hold it in your hand. Sweat. I have to take the inserts out, so. I'm gonna take these out. And I believe you just go like that and they'll come out. But we, we'll, we'll find out. house so this is the left side or driver's side of the car meaning if you're looking at the car from the outside you would see it like this so the fog light would go here now what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm going to make up some kind of bracket so that way the fog light The fog light can sit inside of here and I can leave the mesh in front of it. Don't really know how I'm gonna feel about it, but that's just how I wanna see it for now. <coughs> Here's the actual fog light. This is from a 2001 to 2003 Honda Civic. took the, the original cover off and I put the fog light in there. Right here we have the holes and then we have the, the fog light housing. So what I'm going to try to do is just take these two holes <laughs> right here which is already there and then just cut somewhere here and then boom it'll line up. Easy. So the same thing for the other side. Um, and then when you turn it over, you have a hidden fog light. So far, I have cut the lip that goes here. Where did I put it? I think it's in the trash already. Yeah. But the lip that goes here, I've cut the little edge right here. And now I'm going to cut this high piece right here. And we'll see where that gets us. I am using safety goggles, or, you know, Oakley's right now, and a Chinese uh, version of the Jimmel, 40 bucks. I just did one side. The main reason for trying to keep it on the inside is so the, the pattern stays flush, like, you know, the whole, what is that, hex pattern? So it's like it was always supposed to be there because if you go on the other side, if you go on this side, it's still black, right? But on this side, you got the light now. Don't tell me what y'all think. I will show you all how I did it. I just wanted to hurry up and get it done on one side. And then, oh. Uh, show y'all all the things so since we got a lot of light let's let's just hop to it okay so this panel is cut this piece right here is cut we have the lip that's cut right here then we have another piece that's cut right here we did we separated this whole bracket right here to here I'm gonna do better on the other one, but instead of cutting right here where the curve is, you can cut where it curves over, like so right here, and it'll hold this down even more. But for now, on this side, you know, I'll just use... For this side, I'm gonna be using epoxy, and then we'll be good to go. So we have the passenger side of the vehicle, fog light, and an uncut grill insert. 
bumper insert. So we're going to cut this piece right here. We're going to cut this piece completely flat. We're going to cut right here, this line. Right here, we're going to cut that completely flat. We're going to cut a line across here so it could look just like that. And that'll be all for modifications on this. But over here, as you can see, we're cutting from here all the way around to here. So that would look like uh, same thing over here. Yeah. And then we have to grind a little bit more here and we're gonna sort of cut like right here on this line. So instead of being as not as curved, like we can't catch this piece, we'll go ahead and cut further up so we can wrap around and hold this whole thing down. like this. When you get finished cutting, you should have pieces like this. The top half, the long one, and the bottom half. Very short. It should, be, it should look just like this. Nice little curve. Got a nice curved edge right there. So you can see, now we have to put a curve in this one. Curve here, and then it'll rest on the two screw holes. So that's what we gotta do next. Once we do that, <laughs> fog light will be mounted. Right here, one, two, and three. The curve should start on the third one here and then work his way around to this one and then complete it. And then once you do that, you just tighten the screws down, you'll have your fog light in there and then you just look on the front to align it and then should be good to go. I like how there's no gaps, no black, you can't see. Stop, JJ. JJ, what are you doing? JJ, leave it alone. Thank you. Stop. Stop it. So then you go and you can tighten the bottom one down. Boy, it is bright outside. Day two. <sighs> it's all done. Well, the hard parts. Done all the hard stuff. I got fogs inside the grill, 
grill inside the bumper, all of that. I got one, one of the lights. The, the, uh, the driver's side light. Uh, I cut that one first, so the cuts aren't as good. So I had to put epoxy on one of the pl pieces of plastic and I'll show you that. Uh, but the second one came out really well. It's like it's in its own bracket. Everything's there, I can shake it, it doesn't go anywhere. Got my wires in. I'll show you that real quick. So when it comes to the wire, you have this half over here, and then you got this half, the half that's on the vehicle. Don't think about it too hard. Just unplug this part. If you come over here, you follow your boy. Oh, you got an inline fuse, inline fuse, power, bunch of jazz. Then you got gospel going on right here. Then you got hip hop right here. And some people call this, you know, a little bit of classical. But long story short, you disconnect your hip hop. It's gonna come connect. Disconnect your uh, connection here. And then you throw this, you, you throw this away. You just throw it away. Okay, and then after you do that, yeah. Fog lights go to the fog light connections. Your ground goes to your ground. That's the bumper support. As we all know, if you have a G35, this is composite, this is not metal. But you can still ground it to the bumper support. I took a wire wheel on a drill and I, you know, had it spin so I could clear it off from the paint. So we got bare metal on this ground wire. So ground wire, took the foam off, routed it down. You do what you want. Make it fancy, make it not fancy. But now we got the wire right here, this red wire. This red wire is going to connect to this red and blue wire right here. That will complete the wiring for the fog light switch. Now once you do that, you're gonna put your fog lights back in your bumper and you're gonna call it good. Whew! Long day, y'all, long day. But yeah, still more to do, so let's get to it. So we got it in. Soldered, connected, right here. Got it in, good to go there. What I did was, I cut the connector. So, remember the hip hop connection? It's just the extension of the red wire. So all I did was connect it back, cut it off of the other end of the wire, harness, and then now we have a fog light. I'm all about keeping the car looking nice and clean, nothing too crazy, you know, 
A lot of people just be out there trying to go famous. I'm not about that life. I want my car to be mine and I want it to stand out because of the things I did. I did myself. So let me go ahead and finish this bumper, putting it back on and we will get to the beauty shots. Bumper is back on. The car is on the ground. There it is. There it is. That looks really good. Hey, I dig it a lot. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Matter of fact, shoot, that's, every G35 should have this on it now. If you got a G35 sedan, bro, fog lights all day. Thank you for watching the video. I'm tired. That was a lot of work. A lot of work to make it right. Let's just say that. So, if you feel like our front end should have a white Infinity logo, let me know. Cause I'm, I'm in between. I don't know whether to keep it white headlights, all black grill, or white headlights, white infinity logo, black grill. <sighs> Until next time, this has been another video with your boy, Megalo. You're always welcome here. You love cars, I love cars. Hey, let's just keep it simple. Come back, just keep coming back for more videos just like this one.